Hi guys, it's Anna here. To, in today's video, we're gonna paint this pup. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's been a while since I've posted. Well, I, I haven't been that regular here and I hope that changes in the very near future. Because um, I really do want to post, but life gets in the way. So today, in today's video, I am showing you uh, a piece I did in late se late September because it's my my dad's birthday and this is his dog. So uh, his name is Attila and uh, is very sweet. He's a very sweet dog. Uh, so I was kind of nervous doing this. First of all, I have never used meat tint scans and paper touch it's absolutely lovely it's like pastel mats or something it's very good for pastels um, it really it, it takes a toe mainly on pencils I think it's more visible that it's it's wearing out the pencils but it's absolutely gorgeous you can layer and layer and and the colors are awesome too uh, the color of the paper there's this border here that I don't absolutely love but I don't hate it anyway I don't hate it uh, but you could cut it and just 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 be aware that the the size they say the paper is includes this little border so um, because in this in this painting I use that square technique where you um, use your reference photo uh, and make some squares on the reference photo I used Photoshop for that and then I I made a sketch in a in a in a A3 uh, sheet a pap normal paper uh, and that sheet was also um, I also made the grid making all the squares and then I transferred to this paper so um, so it would be cleaner and I wouldn't have like pencil marks or whatever showing so it has to be really clean um, this was really <laughs> nerve-wracking because first of all I hadn't used the, this paper but it did very very well I hadn't used pastel pencils in a while and it's a uh, pet portrait so it's not just like some cat or some dog or some beautiful tiger you saw and you're drawing it and nobody sees the original I mean they know this dog I know this dog and I I wanted him to be that dog and not just a black dog or a <laughs> so it's it has to be identifiable and that's probably the most difficult part in a in a portrait also I never I don't know if I've ever tried like using so many colors on the fur although I I, I watch another YouTube channels art channels and yeah there's a lot of the professionals and the ones that have like really good results in the end they do have a lot of colors in black fur not just grays and and white and black and browns but the um, because everything is reflecting on the on the fur so um, in in this photo he was outside so the sun is reflecting um, the house is pink it's a um, an old pink something I don't even know how to describe that pink but the, the um, the house is pink then there's a garden with a lot of green there are there there's a lemon tree there so there's lemon lemon there's yellow so um, the flowers add, add other colors so everything was reflecting on the dog and I thought this was like the perfect example that you really you really should use other colors to paint black fur and white fur too so I really I, <laughs> I was I was kind of nervous with the outcome this was made like 
pretty close to the delivery date or the birthday date so delivery that's like birth no delivery delivering whatever so the birthday date so i was kind of stressed but when when i started to putting that's why I started with the face, because if I can make the face, there's no point on <laughs> doing the rest. Uh, and also, you should um, have more detail on the face, because usually there's where people are going to look. The fur, you don't have to have the same detail everywhere, so the fur can be... Uh, the rest of the body can be a little less um uh, focused or detailed um so as you can see i tried to see every color on the fur that was reflecting and i tried to um to paint the fur in its direction and also uh keep in mind the length of the f of the fur because it's not the same throughout the dog so that is so important and then as you can see where I'm what I'm doing here is I'm just laying uh, layering pencils uh, different colors the colors I think I see uh, you can also adjust on Photoshop and make and give some filters and adjust the um, the contrast so you can see what colors might be there and and then I like what I was doing here I was using a little foam a little piece of foam from a package um, and like like we do in soft pastels like the the sticks uh, and I am just smoothing the the fur out this is like for the first layer like you you indicate the direction and um, the the length of the fur and then you kind of smooth it out with the with a little look look how the pencil just it's eaten by the paper but um then you you, you use like the um, this little piece of foam and you try to integrate the the, the pencil the um, the pigment into the paper so so it gets like this really smooth effect but you can still see the direction of the fur and the, or, or or the the marks you made with the pencil um, this is for the first layer of course then this will make everything kind of blurry uh, if you want detail then you'll have to go again and do some um, details on the fur on top of it and then the highlights or uh, the highlights really make everything come together really well so I will leave all the all the materials in the in the link in the description below. If you like this video and you got some value out of it, please give me the thumbs up. It will really help my channel. If you have any questions about this piece or or others, please let me tell uh, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, stay safe and make a lot of art. <laughs> bye bye.